Did Navy hydrophones pick up the sounds from an impossibly huge sea creature? I'm Brian Dunning, and you're watching In Fact. Welcome to the show that brings you the real facts behind popular myths. They call it the bloop, an undersea noise recorded several times throughout the summer of 1997 in a remote area of the South Pacific. It was incredibly loud, audible 3,000 miles away. Nobody knows what it was, but news agencies and cryptozoologists told us it sounded like an enormous animal, way bigger than anything else in the sea. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration recorded the sound and made it available to researchers. We want to know, is it really a giant creature, a new whale species, or possibly something completely different? What we do is compare the bloop to known sounds. We can listen to it, but we can also analyze the sound visually using its spectrogram. Here's the spectrogram for the bloop. Now let's compare it to a recording of the largest known sea creature, a blue whale. By the way, all the sounds I'm going to play for you are sped up 16 times, including the bloop. It's actually a terrible match. It doesn't sound anything like it, and the spectrograms look completely different. So contrary to what the news reports, science does not say that the bloop is probably a sea creature. So what about other things under the sea? How about an earthquake? Here's what an earthquake looks and sounds like. That's not a good match either, but there are other sounds from Noah's library that are also unknown, and most of them are just as interesting as the bloop. Listen to this really weird one they've named the upsweep. And here's my favorite, it's an unknown sound they named Julia, and in my opinion it sounds more like the whale than the bloop does. The fact is, we don't know what any of these sounds are. I don't know yet is a very valuable answer in science. It's right, and it allows for further investigation. When you pretend you do know, and jump to an unsupported conclusion like, it must be a sea monster, you're doing science and yourself a disservice. I don't know yet is the answer that's truly exciting. I'm Brian Dunning, and this has been In Fact. In Fact is made possible by financial support from viewers like you. Please visit infactvideo.com.